good morning good morning everyone i hope you're all doing well um i'm sure you guys are feeling the effects of the full moon yesterday i surely am um but my body said i was done resting and so i'm awake <laughs> I just want to start with the sound bowl today um, just to get that vibration going through my body and through yours so if you want to take the time so just be in the moment and let the vibrations go through your body. Okay, let's begin. Thank you guys so much for being here, for your support on this channel, and for me as a human being. Okay, all right, hold on, because I'm drinking my coffee too, of course. I'm gonna get some of these um, angel cards. I think they're called angel prayer oracles by um, Kyle Gray. <clears throat> Starting out with Archangel Jophiel. Um, it says, honor your beauty. Thank you, Jophiel, for helping me discover my inner and outer beauty. We also have Archangel Haniel at the bottom of the deck. Honor your feelings. It says, thank you, Haniel, for supporting me as I honor my emotions. Now, Jophiel, um, she definitely is about all things beautiful. Um, feeling beautiful inside and out. Uh, she also holds, not in this card, but the Sword of Truth is also what Jophiel stands for. Um, or is it the Sword of Understanding? Something like that. But it basically is a, uh, a lighted um, sword of fire where we get that sharp knowing oh, we have two more the miracle of nature thank you angels for helping me to reconnect through nature and fresh air <clears throat> which is basically what i was saying yesterday so um again it's here and we have focus your mind thank you angels for helping me to focus on my priorities let's get one more There's definitely a need for clarity here, okay? Clarity of the mind, perhaps make trying to make a specific decision or just wanting to find that inner peace. The cards are saying that you can find that in nature and, of course, by way of your angels, by way of meditation. That singing bowl that we just did at the beginning of this message is another way to help your mind to focus and calm, especially if you experience anxiety or things like that where it's even more difficult to 
totally understand if you do because I experience anxiety every day. Okay. But we have um, options and avenues to help us kind of mosey along, right? Okay. And then we have spiritual abundance. Thank you, angels, for blessing me with infinite abundance. Let me get these cards together. Okay. I like this. Why this card's kind of reminded me of Tinkerbell. <laughs> um, and Peter Pan. Anyway, let's see what I want to clarify with here. I kind of want to stick with oracles, actually. Let's go with this deck. Um, what is that? A fidget? Um, those uh, that which is another tool that helps you to focus your mind again if you experience experience anxiety or um, ADD, ADHD. That's another tool that you could use or could be using at this time. I definitely feel like though there's a need to spend time in nature for sure. This is the second day we're getting that message. And all this green and these just in these first two cards, it's like wanting you to experience the beauty of nature. <laughs> In order to gain some kind of clarity. Okay, we have I evade temptation. Keeping focused and on track to achieve all of my goals is easily achieved. Okay, then, um stingrays and, and uh, snakes in that picture. Any more, please. There's a, there's something here also, you guys, about self protection, and and that also goes back to the message yesterday as well. You know, in this temptation card, it's like understanding your your self worth, your value, and um, what kind of keeps you grounded. Okay, doing grounding techniques as well, whether it is um, deep breathing exercises or recognizing things that you can see, feel, hear, and touch around you to keep you in the moment and keep your mind focused. I believe in myself. My self-belief is driven by the same energy as the power of Lake Benamore, right? It's about um, self-value here. This song won't leave me alone. <laughs> I've been it's been in my head since I woke up. I've been rolling around, I've been looking down, and all I see. I know those aren't the words, but <laughs> it's a pretty face and mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know that I could use somebody Someone like you Yeah, I don't know what that's about, but Since I woke up <laughs> It's been just playing in my head nonstop. So some of you may be Listening to that song or maybe that's a song that you need to listen to to kind of um 
um, ground yourself as well or just list that art of listening to music as well is another technique. Anyway, I submit to my purpose. I will use any opportunity to utilize my skills and passion to create a life of happiness. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. That song also for me speaks to kind of like the outsider mindset. I don't know, that one part where he's talking about I've been looking down, looking around. It's like feeling like you are on the outside looking in at what's going on in the world or something like that. My history educates me. Just as the Blue Mountains offer stability to the land, the lessons of my past guide my current decisions. This card for me is similar to the Hermit card. Okay. The Hermit is one who, uh, you know, remembers and recalls what, what he has gone through, what she has gone through. Um, anyway, it's the phase of life where we do that, right? Where we're, where we become knowledgeable and use that wisdom and knowledge to make decisions moving forward. So perhaps at this time, again, going back to that nature or um, getting fresh air, getting out of the house, maybe spending time with people, spending time with your friends, your family is a part of what will kind of bring you clarity. Even in this girl's um, clothes, you can see like the forest. Maybe he says running around. <laughs> In my head, it keeps saying rolling around. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> uh, maybe I should put the link in the um, description for you guys to go and listen to that song. I seek understanding. My goal is to continuously be open to new ways, new thoughts, and deeper knowledge. Now this card is going underneath focus your mind, right? Um, and, and it's speaking on priority, prioritizing. I feel like this is sort of um, an example or, a, I don't know. It speaks to rumination for me, um, which is basically just like nonstop of the mind. And that's why, you know, this card really is um, reminding me of someone who experiences anxiety or, or ADHD and it's just like um, non-stop constantly can't stop worrying thinking or um, trying to figure somebody out somebody wow where'd that come from okay <laughs> okay okay trying to figure somebody out all right maybe you're trying to figure somebody out let's get some more on that <laughs> mm -mm -mm. It's amazing how it works sometimes. <laughs> Tell me more about that, please. I mean, this can also apply to a relationship if you're like having a disagreement of some sort and um, needing to be able to be logical, rational, rather than emotional toward a conversation or a specific subject. I am worthy of love. Okay, I guess we are talking about love. And it's funny, I feel like it only came up in this row um, about focusing your mind and, and needing to prioritize your thoughts, really. Like the Order of the Sisters of Compassion on the, I don't know how to say this, Waganui River, I believe in myself and my purpose actually goes back to this card of submitting to your purpose a lot of cards of submission though I don't know how I feel about that just saying but maybe that's something that you need to do perhaps that's something that you're struggling with submission 
doesn't mean that somebody's weak. It's just a matter of whether or not it is appropriate. And whether or not, um, I don't know, that person deserves it to a certain extent. What's this spiritual abundance card about? focus on growth. I am proud of my accomplishments and work hard to improve upon my success. So why can't I? Okay, let's try again. I focus on growth. I am proud of my accomplishments and work hard to improve upon my successes. Okay, I can speak. I got it. Um, so this really is talking about your abundance. Now, whether that's financial, I mean, this card in particular says spiritual abundance. Doesn't have to be in what area i mean every day we should work to be wealthy in every area that financially physically mentally emotionally i feel like this is more so speaking on mentally and emotionally today for us let's get one more Each day I am renewed, yeah. There are countless opportunities to become the person I want to be if I choose them. Yep. And that's directly related to that spiritual abundance because you do have that opportunity every single day to kind of choose and decide who you want to be that day, what kind of thoughts you want to have that day, what kind of attitude you choose to have that day, how you want to approach a situation. I just heard your boss as well, okay? Some of you might be having trouble at work or um, specifically conflicts with your superiors. That kind of has you down. Because even if we look at this as a whole, I, I could say that that is sort of the theme of what's going on here needing to kind of keep yourself grounded, um, needing to know and understand when it is um, purposeful to speak, okay? Or to speak purposefully. But we also have someone here who is forward looking and maybe trying to build something on their own, step out of that, um, job that you've been in and create your own business or something like that all right i just want to get some chakra cards before we close out what chakra cards are relevant for this message please thank you faith Mm hmm. Um, third eye chakra. I don't know why I was wanting to say crown chakra over and over again. And you know what really has my attention? Um, this crystal down there on the ground. Okay which I don't know if it is in the picture, but it's reminded me of amethyst. And so if you guys don't have any amethyst, I actually am wearing it around my neck. It connects to the crown and third eye chakra. Um, but this card is absolutely about having faith. And you even see these um, two individuals like coming towards her with her abundance, right? Perhaps at this time you're losing faith in, in your dreams or in yourself as we see in that first row as well. But you do have assistance in this realm and in the spiritual realm. Asking you to continue having faith. We have growth. This is the heart chakra, okay? 
this is a growing period for you. It's not going to be easy. It's going to be difficult. There may be some painful times. There may be some tears. You know, there's going to be a lot of waiting. There's going to be a lot of um, um, uh, conversations with other people who have maybe gone through similar situations, I feel here. Yeah, and also understand that we are all on our own path. Like, w the way that somebody else did something is not necessarily the way that you are going to go. Because um, they're giving me, like, like abstract and, um, you know, under needing to understand. They're about to cut my damn grass. <laughs> needing to understand that... Um, the way that somebody else went through something is not going to be the exact way that you go through something. There's different lessons that we each have to learn. And so it may seem like a windy road, but that's all a part of your growth to get you where you need to be. And we have workaholic, yeah. So like I was saying, for somebody here, this I feel like this message is very much about like feeling weary or, or losing hope and faith at work or in work, or again, in a, a business that you're trying to create for yourselves. Um, throat chakra here um, again like I was saying earlier there's the message here is also one of speaking purposefully not only speaking purposefully to the people around you but also just speaking purposefully to the universe we just had this full moon okay and and it you know you need to take that to your use that to your advantage the, the different moon cycles um, the meditation the fidget the um uh, the focused uh, speaking and thoughts that we talked about here, okay? Okay, and the throat chakra, it speaks on communication, but it's also about listening and hearing, all right? Um, so just keep that in mind here, okay? I definitely feel like you guys are focused. I feel like you're working really hard. I feel like you are, um, you know... Just trying to hold on to faith as we all are, right? Every day, that's what we do. Anyway, guys, this has been your collective consciousness for the 21st, I think it is today, I believe. Um, and I'll see you guys later on. Um, also, Aries, Taurus, Gemini, and Cancer, your messages for the week will be out today at 12 noon Eastern time. All right. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.